Hi, in this video, we'll be looking at how to use our TI-84 to calculate loan repayments. So for example, here we have a guy who takes out a personal loan and he wants to fund his wedding, but he plans to repay for the amount that he's borrowed. So this is a big difference between this and a regular compound interest question. In a regular compound interest question, we're not considering the fact that this person is paying back money each month. In this question, they've added a little trick to it and you have to pay back money each month. And this is actually the realistic way um, of how loans work. We can use our TI-84 calculator to help us solve this problem. Let's see how. All right, so here we have some information that we're going to need. We're gonna need the total number of time periods for which the loan has to be repaid. So for example, in this question, five years, and there are monthly repayments for five years. So in order to figure out the total number of time periods in the question, we have to go ahead and multiply the five years by the fact that there are 12 payments per month. So there are 60 payments in all. There are 60 time periods in all. Another thing that we're going to need in order to solve this problem is the percent interest per year. So in this question, as you can see, it says that the, pay, the payments are, the interest, sorry, is 6% per annum, PA for per annum, 6% per year. So we're going to need that information. We also will need the loan amount. How much did this guy borrow? This will be the present value. The first amount that this guy borrowed in this case is $12,000. So we're going to need that sum of money. Um, the next thing that we're going to need is the payment per time period. Or in this case, we're actually looking for the payment per time period. So I'm going to go ahead and put a question mark there. That's what the question is asking for. Now, since this guy is paying back all the money that he borrowed, the future value, FV, is going to have to be zero. So maybe you might want to take a note that this is always zero if everything is being paid back. All right, and PYCY is the number of payments made per year. So since we're doing monthly payments, there are 12 months in a year, so our PYCY value is 12 because there's 12 months per year. All right, once you have that information, let us look at how to use it. All right, so we're gonna take our TI-84 calculator and we want to go to the Finance app. So in order to do that, we press Apps and our Finance app is the first option. So we go ahead and press Enter. We're gonna specifically be using the TVM solver. So we can go ahead and press Enter. And now we are using our Finance app. As you can see, all the variables and all the symbols over here match what I have in my notes over here. So N, as you now know, is the total number of time periods or the total number of payments that this guy has to make. And we figured out that was 60 because they're 12 months per year and he's paying for five years. Or I, as you now know, is the percent interest per annum and that is 6% in this question. So we go ahead and put in six. Or PV value, the starting amount or the amount that he borrowed is 12,000. So we can go ahead and put that in or PMT value is the payments per month. That's actually what we're trying to find. So we can leave zero in as a placeholder or we can actually put any number we want to put in there as a placeholder and go back to it and figure out what actually belongs there. FV is the future value and since we're paying back the entire loan, that should be zero because the future value means that we will owe zero dollars at the very end. And since it's monthly payments, there are 12 months per year, so our PY and CY values are 12. All right, once we have all of that filled in, we can go ahead back to PMT to figure out what our monthly payments will be. So in order to solve that value, we need to press alpha, 
and solve. And solve, as you can see in green here, is above the enter button. So we press alpha and then enter. And that tells you the monthly payments. Now notice it's negative. The reason it's negative is because it is coming out of our pocket. That is what we are paying. So we are paying $231 and 0.9936184. All right, obviously it's money. So what does that mean? You cannot pay, you cannot take a cent and divide it into smaller parts of a cent. So we have to round this. So we need to talk about how to round money. If I am paying 9.993 cents, or sorry, 0.993 dollars, I can't pay that amount. I have to pay, I mean, I can't start by paying a fraction of a, a cent. I have to, once I start paying that cent back, that means I'm paying back the whole cent. There we go. Which means that when you're doing these payments, you always have to round up. So our monthly repayment is going to be equal to 200 at $32 because that 0.99 or that 99 cents rounds up and so we have now $232 that's the monthly payment so Don is paying back $232 every month and he's paying that for five years five years as we now know is 60 months so he's taking that money out of his pocket every single month for 60 months so the total that he'll pay back is 232 each month times 60 for all the months that he's paying back and we can go ahead and calculate what that is 232 times 60 and that will give you the total repayment amount so in this question, the total repayment amount is 13920 All right, so here we are. This guy, Don, he borrowed $12,000, but he's paying back $13,920. He's paying back more than what he borrowed. So when you're asked for the interest that was charged, the question really is, how much more is Don paying back than what he borrowed? So they're asking for the difference between those two numbers, the total repayment amount minus the amount borrowed. So we have to go ahead and subtract 13,920 minus 12,000 and that will tell you how much extra Don has to pay back and that is the interest that the bank charged. So the interest that this bank charged was 1,920 and that's the extra amount. So hopefully that helped. In our next video we'll be looking at what happens part way through the payment period. So stay tuned.